Since 1986, Northern Uganda has brutally suffered from civil conflict and insurgencies. The longest lasting of these rebellions was at the hands of the Lord's Resistance Army, led by Joseph Kony. Joseph Kony's tactics were and remain brutal. He abducted children to fill the ranks of his army, often forcing them to kill their own parents or siblings with machetes or blunt tools. His lies and claims of spiritual powers brainwashed and indoctrinated these children who were forced to work as laborers, soldiers, and sex slaves. But now, change and hope have come to Uganda. My name is Okelo Sam. I'm the founder of Hope North Uganda, which is an organization to support children who were directly abducted and affected by war in northern Uganda. When I went to Uganda, I was working on a role. I was working on The Last King of Scotland, and I got a chance to meet with Sam. And he asked me if I would come up to his orphanage. Sam Okella. He's like a Mother Teresa in musician's clothing. This is a song I composed about working with pride even under difficult circumstances. You can go through challenges in life, but that should never put you down. He took a tragedy and turned it into something that allowed him to give back. His brother was abducted and his brother was killed. And then he was abducted and he was there for, I think, about a year and a half in the Lord's Resistance Army. Of course, it changed his life and he made a commitment to help those individuals who are in the same circumstances. On behalf of Hope North, I want to say thank you very, very, very much to Bill and Tenny and to all the staff of Starkey for the service that you have given to our community. Hope North really is the epicenter of that area. Everyone knows about it. They know that that's the place where a young person can go and they can be taken in and welcomed. We are going to thank you in our usual way. We are going to celebrate because it's a day worth celebrating. Thank you very much. When I founded Hope North, one of the biggest challenges that we had was how to help the children to move away from the, the kind of torture, the kind of abuse that they went through. And I tried several times to bring in professionals to just talk to them, make them understand it didn't work very well. What we do at Hope North is to engage them in a lot of music. But also, they don't just dance or sing for its sake. All the songs have specific messages. A lot of information and wisdom of our people is documented in the music that helps the society to keep their social fibers together. Sam, he's lifted their spirits. I talked to one kid there, Stephen, and Stephen was telling me that he needed to be in the group. He didn't like to sit alone because the silence was too much. The uh, gunfire it still rests in his heart. That has to um, be cleansed. And it's through the dancing and through the work and the hope that some of the cleansing will occur. You know, and these bullets will be made mute. Good? Good I think what Sam realized when they were at Hope North was the magnitude of the hearing loss that had occurred. Like this? So they think they're walking through the world, hearing the same way everyone else is. And all of a sudden someone comes in and says, you know, I can clear that up and I can make you hear it all, all the sounds that you didn't miss because you didn't hear the rustle of the grass. You don't hear the water as it flows. You just accept that the little trickle you hear is what it is, but no, it's fuller. Life is bigger. Life is more. And I think that's one of the things that happens from the work that they're doing. Life becomes more. Do you like it? Yes. Ah! Oh, the gift of hearing gives you the opportunity to celebrate being. You appreciate it better. And that's why the mission of Starkey is absolutely important for me because I see many people being freed. Can we all stand up, sing Akara? If you are near someone, hold their hands and share your energy with them as we celebrate the greatness of life. Sam has given so much to the people. It's just incredible. He was able to reconcile with the things that had happened 
I was able to transform those pains and those problems into his expression of love. As a former child soldier, the only moment in my life that I felt very happy, that I felt not enslaved by anybody or any idea, are those moments that I was doing my music and celebrating my life. And I want to share that. Yes, I see the world through my ears. That's the best way to say, to put it, that I see the world through my ears.